am so happy. I'm slightly nervous, obviously, but I am feeling like quite nervous as well. No, I'm feeling very. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I'm obviously nervous. I am happy, but I'm a bit nervous too. So we were already talking about getting married, and I knew that she wanted to get married soon as well. So I had this gig coming up. So I called her on the stage and then when she went on stage I kneeled down and I had the ring and I proposed to her. It was like me through one of my songs that is called Alive Again and it's about love and stuff so it was quite romantic and cute <laughs> and she said yes, thankfully. <laughs> So I'm okay about getting an address because it's for her and for our marriage. We thought about it, but no, we're not going to do anything, something old, something new, something borrowed, something blue. Um, I was thinking about blue nail polish, and then I thought, oh, what's the borrowed? That's blue eyeliner. Yeah. We can put a little bit in your, in your makeup. I mean, I'm more focused on things like vows, you know what I mean? I think it's interesting if people do that, I have no problem with it. but. But no, we didn't focus on that. Another thing we didn't focus on very well is our dance, our first dance. So please do not put my finger in your mouth. <laughs> That's okay, the makeup person just put her finger in your mouth. Oh God. That's okay. Yeah, so another thing that we're not all that prepared for is our first dance. But you know what, she studied ballet for years and years and she's really, she moves beautifully. I don't, but I'm still gonna try. <laughs>
Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Now, on behalf of my colleague, Genevieve, and myself, Belgin, I'd like to welcome you all here to the Andaz on the occasion of the marriage between Eileen and Julia. Julia, the purpose of marriage is that you may always love, care for, and support each other through the joys and sorrows of life. Marriage means making a commitment to developing and maintaining cooperation, friendship, and mutual respect. It calls for trust, understanding, and encouragement. But more than this, marriage is also intended to provide the love and friendship, help and comfort which each ought to have for the other. I need to remind you of the solemn and binding character of the vows you are about to make. I do solemnly declare. I do solemnly declare. That I know not. That I know not. Of any lawful impediment. Of any lawful impediment. Why I, Eileen de Friest. Well I, Eileen de Friest. May not be joined. May not be joined. In matrimony. In matrimony. To Julia Zell Montero. To Julia Zell Montero. <laughs> I do solemnly declare. I do solemnly declare that I know not that I know not of any lawful impediment of any lawful impediment why I Julia Zell Montero why I Julia Zell Montero <laughs> may not be joined may not be joined in matrimony in matrimony to Eileen de Friest to Eileen de Friest well done now we have our final reading so Melissa if you could come forward please for one human being to love another human being, that is perhaps the most difficult task that has been entrusted to us, the ultimate task, the final test and proof, the work for which all other work is merely preparation. Loving does not at first mean merging, surrendering, and uniting with another person. It is a high inducement for the individual to ripen, to become something in himself, to become world, to become the world in himself for the sake of another person, it is a great, demanding claim on him, something that chooses him and calls him to vast distance. Once the realization is accepted that even between the closest people, infinite distance exists, a marvelous living side by side can grow up for them. If they succeed in loving the expanse between them, which gives them the possibility of seeing each other as a whole before an immense sky. Thank you. Promise to be loving, faithful, and loyal to her for the rest of your lives together. I will. We now come to the actual marriage contract. We're already facing each other, which is good for your holding hands. <laughs> I call upon. I call upon these persons here present. These persons here present. To witness that I, Eileen de Fries, To witness that I, Eileen de Fries, do take thee, Julia Zell. Do take thee, Julia Zell. To be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. I call upon. I call upon. These persons here present. These persons here present. To witness that I, Julia Zell. To witness that I, Julia Zell. Do take thee, Eileen de Fries. Do take thee, Eileen de Fries. To be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. Wonderful. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Eileen and Julia have written their own personal vows, which they are now going to read. My Eileen, my love, my everything, you truly are the most special person I have ever met. From the moment I first heard your voice, I knew there was something magical about you. And I knew I wanted you in my life forever. You've made me love like I've never loved before and feel every emotion so deeply right from the start. Eileen de Friest, you make my life so beautiful and worth living. I've told you from the beginning that you were my soulmate and I was right. <laughs> As always. <laughs> you, <laughs> you, you are also the love of my life and my best friend. And from today onwards, I can officially say you are my wife and my family. I promise to be there for you, to love you and protect you, to care for you, 
and to do everything in my power to make you smile always and forever. You have my heart, my mind, my body and soul for as long as I live. I am forever yours, my Eileen, in this life and for all eternity. Julia, my Julia, let me start by saying I've never loved anything so much as I love you. I've never met anyone so purely lovely and loving as you. And in my long and varied 61 years, I've never met anyone so genuinely kind and gracious as you. In our relatively short time together, you who are only 24 have taught me so much about life and love. You who are so young and so gracefully mature, gorgeous and generous have shown me how to love and how to love myself again. The reward of your love is a late in life gift that I'm not sure I deserve, yet cling to as if a boat on a swirling sea. And this all marrying couples will testify to one another, you, my partner, my love, my everything, are that boat, that lifeboat on a raging sea of life. Come, my darling, my beauty, let's spend our days together, however short or long they be. As an affirmation of my love and commitment to you, I marry you today and promise to give you always the full measure of my kindness and love as they are, at their best, almost everything you deserve. If you could present Julia's for this please. Thank you. My knee, place that part way onto Julia's okay. ring finger for me. Hold it there, that's it. And you've got a few more words to say. Julia, I give you this ring. Julia, I give you this ring. As a token of our marriage. As a token of our marriage. And a symbol of our love. And a symbol of our love. I promise to love, honour and care for you. I promise to love, honour and care for you. To support you through good fortune and adversity. To support you through good fortune and adversity. Joy and sadness. Joy and sadness. And to be your friend as long as we both shall live. And to be your friend as long as we both shall live. Now slide her ring all the way on, Eileen. <laughs> Oh, that's definitely staying on, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah, you're doing exactly the same. Part way on to her ring finger, that's it. Hold it there. Eileen, I give you this ring. Eileen, I give you this ring. As a token of our marriage. As a token of our marriage. And a symbol of our love. And the symbol of our love. I promise to love, honour and care for you. Through good fortune and adversity. Legally, wife and wife. <laughs>
very brutal. And that is that this is um, this was a kind of buried uh, entity for quite a while. And somehow they did some excavating and they found, uh, of all things, a Masonic temple. So you're all sitting in a Masonic temple. <laughs> Because that's just a bit of a leftover. <laughs> this one. <laughs> <laughs> 